Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Today we're going to be taking a look at a massive haul that I got just this past week. The first thing I wanted to show you in this haul were these 1986 PVC DuckTales figures. Uh, these were all the rage back in the 80s and early 90s. Different companies made different PVCs. They were, che they were cheap, uh, cheap to make, cheap to purchase. Uh, you had California Raisins, you had the Noid from Domino's, you had Smurfs. Uh, but we found these at Primary Colors Retro Relics in Lincoln, Illinois yesterday. Uh, here's their business card. Very cool guy. The owner, uh, he helped us out a lot. Uh, I originally went in there to purchase uh, something I had him hold back for me, uh, which I will get into later in this video. But they had the, he had these in a dollar bin full of assorted uh, assorted toys. Uh, my wife found them. She started grabbing them. This is, aside from this Webby, this is a almost complete base set. I say almost complete because the only one it's missing from the base set is Uncle Scrooge. So you've got Launchpad McQuack, you've got Webby, you've got Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and you've got one of the Beagle Boys. And then this was from another PVC line. How well you can see that. Made by Kellogg. Um, not bad. So another Webby. But yeah, I really enjoy these. Uh, in the future, hopefully once I'm able to obtain an Uncle Scrooge from this base set, I'll do a f complete review on them. Up next, continuing with the DuckTales theme, we have this Huey Duck, which is a 1986 plush, made by Hasbro and Playmates. The owner at Primary Colors Retro Relics in Lincoln, he, I told him I was a big fan of uh, DuckTales. And he had this sitting back in one of the totes uh, he hadn't put it out on display or anything. It was just sitting there. So because we spent so much money in his shop, he gave it to me. Which just shows how cool of a guy he is, for one. And how great the store is, for another. Uh, although this Huey, <laughs> he looks a little evil. <laughs> he looks a little sinister. Uh, the, the eyebrows and the way his eyes are, it kind of gives him that sinister tone. But he's still cool nonetheless. And during this line of plushes, each one of the uh, ducks did have their names on their shirts. Uh, Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Webby. Uh, I don't think Uncle Scrooge had his name on his shirt or anything. But you can see it's pretty old. And then here on the tag. No, upside down. DuckTales 1986, The Walt Disney Company by Play School and Hasbro. Surface washable only. 100% polyester stuffing. Very cool addition to my DuckTales collection. Up next, we have this Star Trek The Next Generation, Starship Enterprise, Electronic, uh, Collector's Edition number 083750 by Playmates Toys. This is something I've been trying to get my hands on for quite a while. On eBay, they're usually priced at well over 100 bucks. The owner at Primary Colors had it stocked for 35 bucks. 35 uh, great buy. I saw it on his Facebook page. I asked him if he could hold it for me. He did. He set it in the back for me. This was the reason we went in there yesterday. Strictly for this, this enterprise. And we ended up spending almost a hundred bucks in the store. Another figure I got from Retro Relics. We have PandaCon. And he did come complete. Uh, he had him in a little baggie uh, hanging on a wall. Uh, PandaCon was always one of my favorite figures growing up. 
him along with the Samurai Leonardo and Usagi Ujimbo were my favorites. And this guy is in pristine condition. Uh, I'm not sure about the nose though. I'm not sure if that's paint coming off the nose or if that's how he was designed to look, make it look like his, he had a shiny nose. Uh, but everything else on this figure is pretty pristine except for the bottom of the shoes. It's pretty rare to find a Pandacon, not only with all his weapons, but also with his pads. These pads on his arms and legs. Because a lot of times, that was the first thing that kids would lose. Uh, another part would be the uh, ends of his bandana. That's something that would often get broken off as well. Very cool find. Another find at Retro Relics was from the X-Men animated series toy line Gambit. Uh, he was in the dollar bin. Uh, he did not have his staff or his uh, trench coat with him. Missing quite a bit of paint. Uh, but still a very cool find. His kick action still works. Very nice. He was always one of my favorite X-Men figures growing up. Uh, very cool. Up next, something my son found, and he offered to give it to me since he knows I collect these. But I told him no, he can have it, that I asked the owner at Retro Relics to keep an eye out for another one for me. And that is the original Hot Wheels 1989 Batmobile. And you know it's the original because it has the Batman symbol on top. Uh, the majority of the 1989 uh, Batmobiles that were released during the movie came with the bat symbol on top. It was the branding deal. Very cool. I would love to add this to my collection. I used to have one growing up. Lost it in several moves. What are you going to do? We're going to get away from uh, the Retro Relics toys for right now and go into a toy I managed to find on eBay that I've been looking for for quite some time. I've been looking for this to complete my collection for quite a while. However, many scalpers on eBay have this listed at well over 50 bucks to buy. Uh, I was laying in bed one night, couldn't get to sleep, I was tossing and turning. It wasn't for this reason or anything, but I decided to take a look at eBay and just browse, see what I could find. I typed in Jillian Holtzman action figure and found it for a price of $21 plus shipping. It ended up being about 30 bucks after shipping and taxes and everything. Great price, great find. I couldn't believe it. I was amazed. My, com my collection is finally complete. I have all four original Ghostbusters, all four Answer the Call Ghostbusters now. I will be doing a review on her, as well as Rowan. Uh, it will be out in October, along with the other uh, Answer the Call Ghostbusters figures. Uh, so make sure you tune in for that. I was very excited to find this figure. I got two pops from Amber, uh, who used to uh, be on a few episodes of Come Again here. First one. Pop movies, Ghostbusters, The Gatekeeper, Zool, and The Keymaster. Uh, we had been going back and forth for about a year, uh, trying to pick a time and everything for me to get buy this from her. Uh, it's shot up like three or four times since initially telling her that I was going to buy it. Uh, very, very cool. I definitely want to find a place for this uh, on my shelf. I'm going to have to make some room. Uh, very cool. I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan. And I will be doing a review on this. And that review will be in October as well. I'm trying to save Ghostbusters stuff and horror stuff for the month of October. Make sure you tune in then, guys. Up next, another pop I purchased from Amber. That I will be doing a review on soon. Pop Animation Dragon Ball Z 265 Galactic Toys Exclusive Shinron Vinyl Figure. 
Uh, I know Billy did a review on one. I believe he did a review on the gold Shenron. However, this is the fully colored one. Uh, very nice. Saw it. Amber had it up for sale. Told her I'd go ahead and get it. We have a box. But not just any box. This is a box of trading cards. These trading cards are ones that I had growing up. Uh, I really enjoyed them. I ended up leaving them behind in one of my many moves, uh, which I regret along with all my other trading cards. I had complete sets of many different... I had the Jim Lee X-Men sets, the uh, Spider-Man trading cards, Mar tons of Marvel trading cards. But this one I really, really liked. I got it off of eBay. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but here's the company that sold it to me, M Hop on Hop, there's his card, got a glare there, there we go, alright. And these were in really good condition. When I got them, they were wrapped for me. He put them in this box with styrofoam around them. And they are the long card spawn complete set. Which I always really liked. Uh, however, they take special plastic pages to be able to fit in a binder. Uh, I'm going to have to find and order those special uh, card pages. Uh, very nice. I really like these. I liked them as a kid uh, just as much. Very cool designs. They took uh, different panels from the early days of Spawn Comics and turned them into trading cards if you go through if you've ever owned if you've ever owned this set you know what I'm talking about uh, go through and look at all your cards and you can go back through volumes one and two and see exactly which page they took each card from very nice I will be doing a review on these uh, in the near future probably come October so make sure you tune in for that up next we have a movie haul uh, I told you I was going to get it, guys, and and so I did. Season 1, Book 1, Thundercats. Uh, I had found Season 1, Book 2. Let me... Uh, Alright. That'll have to do. Alright. Uh, I had found Season 1, Book 2 at Dollar General, and so, of course, I went on Amazon and found season one book one for a relatively good price so I bought it up I have not yet watched it uh, we watched one episode of book two already uh, but I figured I'd wait and start at the beginning very cool then I managed to find at Walmart in the five dollar bin now you see me two blu-ray DVD and digital copy very cool. I love these Now You See Me movies. Uh, cannot wait to see... I believe they're supposed to be coming out with a third one. Very nice. Up next, a Blu-ray that I found last night while shopping at Walmart. Uh, this one I was waiting for. I had uh, Dragon Ball uh, Z Battle of the Gods movie. I had the uh, Re uh, Resurrection F movie. I had Dragon Ball Super uh, Part 3. And now Dragon Ball Super Part 4. Cannot wait to watch this. Uh, I hate the f how uh, Toei Am Animation uh, does the Dragon Ball mo uh, videos, the seasons. They do, they pick up with the last episode of the previous season and go until one episode before the end of the season and they put that last episode on the next uh, feature which I don't like at all 
but that's their marketing thing and it works so what are you gonna do uh, coming to the end of the hall we have a few comic books uh, or graphic novels trade paperbacks whatever you want to call them they're comics uh, the first one is Die Hard Year One, Volume Two. I have ordered Volume One. It should be here in a few days. Very good read. It doesn't read like a Die Hard movie, though. It reads more like um, a 70s cop drama. Uh, it, it's cool. They got the art, the uh, look of a 70s movie done perfectly, but it doesn't really feel like a Die Hard story then and i got this off of amazon uh i also picked up yesterday uh i bought a couple comics off a of local local radio dj um in springfield pop one that used to be a pop, very popular dj he ran the morning show for several years called the morning disaster he had a bunch of graphic novels for sale uh 10 bucks a piece couldn't really beat that so i bought four of them and the ones I purchased were Invincible Volume 1 Family Matters which are the first few stories from Invincible you have Invincible Volume 2 8 is enough you have the new 52 Shazam and Green Lantern Volume 3 The End uh, those were the, uh, the trades that I purchased off of him. If you're in the St. Louis area, uh, him and Mike Lamb used to have a radio show together as well. It was Ray Lytle. Uh, it was Lytle and Lamb show, or in Springfield, it was Ray Lytle's Morning Disaster. That's who I bought these off of. Very cool. Uh, and then these last two comics I got at Primary Colors Retro Relics. Uh, yes, they do have more than just toys there. They have tons of comics. They have video games, old school video games. They have DVDs, just tons of stuff. We have Green Lantern number 78 and Green Lantern number 93. I have to say, guys, I think I made out like a bandit with this haul. Uh, we have plans to go back again next month. We're going to save back probably, uh, we're going to save back a little bit of money each week so that when we go once a month, uh, we can have a really nice haul and get our get our money's worth for the time we spent driving back and forth to Lincoln, which is about 45 minutes from here. Half hour maybe if you drive faster. But With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and bring this haul to a close. We're going on about 20 minutes here. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, my friends.